Good morning, Turf Island. Oh God, I'm knackered like always. Fucking, I'm knackered. Anyway, it's been a weekend, a bank holiday weekend to be precise. We watched a king with fat hands get a big crown. We watched a woman in an interesting dress and a big ass sword do something. I don't know what she did, but everyone lost their mind about it and seemed to forget that she thinks men are women, but whatever. That's not why I'm here. I am here to talk about GC men in the movement. And I say GC men just because oh, it's easier to use that term. I don't call myself GC. I know many people don't call themselves GC. This is a broad church full of all sorts of people, gay men, lesbians, trans widows, mums, sporting women, everything. I'm just going to say GC just to make it easier. Right, so be wary of men who just pop up and try to start taking over everything, right? And start bigging themselves up. Because there's plenty of men in this movement that I've known since I started this movement that are safe, that come to the meetings, that don't try and take over the meetings, that, I don't mean it's in a rude way, know their place, but when you're at a women's meeting and you're a man, you do kind of need to know your place. That don't try to take over, that are happy to give you help or advice when asked, but they understand that they need to be asked first. They don't try and cause beef between other women. They don't brag about when they help you. They don't, they don't boast about it online. They don't boast about their following numbers. They don't use your help. They don't use them helping you as a status climber. Um, what else have I got? They don't have a whole bunch of fucking dodgy videos that they have to explain. I'm sorry, mate, but come on. Seriously, like, like, seriously. Ugh. The guys that are the decent GC men, right? You'll probably never even hear of them. They've probably got tiny, tiny Twitter profiles, if they've got profiles at all. And, and they're not in here to try and get big and, and big and famous and clout. They're here to actually help women. I know, right? I know, that's amazing, but some men do, do, do that. And they do do it well. Other men not so much. And that's that's the trick, spotting the men. You don't do it so much. You want to do it just for clout. And they're the ones that you'll find, find boasting. They're the ones who you'll find uh, um, talking about how many Twitter followers they have and who's following them. And they're the ones who get an absolute fuss and a hissy fit when you question them. That's another thing, a decent man will accept that you will question their motives and they will accept that you will keep them at an arm's distance for a while until you're ready and they may always be at an arm's distance a decent man will accept that and like i said there's plenty of decent men in this movement you just probably don't know who they are because they don't go ah look at me i'm being good look pay attention to me they don't do that and uh if you're one of those good men thank you thank you very much if you're not one of those good men fix up <laughs>